Hello and welcome to EU4 with Nuki. Today we have a special campaign for you. This is the Hesse Mercenaries or Hessian Mercenaries. I can't really remember the name of the achievement. But anyways, as Hesse, you're supposed to have 50 standing mercenaries. And you know, well, that's a neat idea and everything since Hesse like helped. Uh, I was gonna say help EU4 helped America in the Revolutionary War by sending mercenaries. Um, I thought, you know, I'd take this a step further and why only have 50 mercenaries when you can have your whole country be mercenaries? So for this achievement, or I guess this playthrough, I will be only using just mercenaries, nothing else. No mer like, no standing army. Who needs a professional army when you have mercs? Achievement. And cruelty of mercenaries? <laughs> What's that? Who needs that when you have Hessen mercs? Also, who needs money when you have mercenaries? So yeah, for this achievement, I am going to be hemorrhaging money like a person who is really bad with money. So, me in real life. So, first things first, let's set our rivals. And, like, I, I haven't, like, play tested this or done anything really, like, you know, like this or... Well, actually, I have, like kind of done this a little bit before like i tried to kind of get, get it started and it was like super difficult but you know i never really tried took it seriously like i am right now all right first things first let's make the estates happy yeah, i can't give them too much land since i don't think they own anything yeah all right so this is our state we probably want to start off with filling out our state and, well, speaking of states, let's put our edict on as this. So yeah, it's definitely been a while since I've played this game. Well, not well actually, yeah, it's been a while since I've played EU4, but it's also been a while since I've recorded. And there's not really a... Well, actually, there is a big reason for that. The big reason is my computer could not record. Like, you know, I got cocky thinking, oh, yeah, you know, it'll be fine. You know, I don't... Who needs, you know, a good computer to record or stream or anything like that but i got a new computer yesterday after like what <laughs> four years of playing on like a 2011 computer but you know i finally you know bucked up and got a new computer and so far i'm really really liking it i got it from digital storm which you know you know from first impressions i really really like it it's definitely a huge improvement from my previous computer and i'm excited to see you you know what this baby can do but, you know, and because, like, before on my last computer, I could barely run, like, speed. I don't even think I could run speed 3. I think, like, my max was speed 2. Even if I put it up to speed 5, it still played as speed 2. But, yeah, okay, enough talking. Let's see who we can ally. Uh, I guess we can ally Cleves. Can we get in the Emperor's pants? Come on. Wait, do I even need any? Ah, oh, jeez, yeah. <laughs> That's an army strength. What are, you, are you saying there's something wrong with my army? Hmm? Yeah, let's begin. No good missions, really. I guess improve with Nassau. Uh, well, no, because I want to take over Nassau. So we'll probably form a spy network on them. Um, probably not going to buy any advisors for a long, long time. But yeah, since I'm only going to be doing mercenaries only, I mean, like, the very ending idea is nice with the mercenary maintenance, but it's going to be a while before I get that, so I probably want to get, like, innovative ideas just so I can get that extra mercenary maintenance. Plus, I think one of these uh, policies helps me, like, also with mercenaries. Uh, I'm not seeing it. But I'm pretty sure there's one that like just straight up helps me with mercenaries, well like paying for them. Um, is it aristocratic? Uh, well, either way. Well, actually, I think I saw yeah available mercenaries, so I definitely want to get aristocratic and innovative for sure, and economic. <laughs> definitely economic because I'm just gonna have no economy. Yeah, it's enough. 
talking. Let's get into it. Hopefully, I don't get attacked right off the bat. Royal marriage from Cleet. You know, I want to ally you, but I don't want to get that close to you. Alright, let's build a spy. No, actually, I don't even know who I rivaled. Uh, who did I rival? Um, I know there's a map mode for this. Rivals. You three. Hmm. Oh, and Frankfurt. I don't know why I rivaled Frankfurt. It's not like I'll be able to take him over. Unless he gets a, you know, nice ally. Uh, I kind of want to take on... <sighs> no, I have to take on Nassau first, because there's, like, actually no way I'll be able to fight anybody else except Nassau. It's because <laughs> these mercs are going to be insanely expensive. Come on. Be a good general. 2-2, two -two, I'll take that. Not terribly good, but not terribly bad. Jeez. <laughs> it's already costing so much money. Because hmm. what, it costs like, what, 30 ducats to buy a merc? Yeah. Jeez. Uh, <laughs> you know what? Let's just, you know, not pay the army. We don't need an army to pay for. Do you have any allies? Eh, you already have allies. <gasps> Ooh, Warsburg doesn't, though. That's pretty tempting. Pretty, pretty tempting. Improve relations with the sound? No. Solidify our people relations? Maybe. That's always a good mission. It's always good to get in the pants of the Pope. Mm. Is that sacrilegious? I don't think so. But anyways, let's get our second mercenary. Well, actually, I think it probably, you know, in the future it'll probably be, uh, wow, Poland didn't take the Union. Actually, I think they did. I think, because since I have a new computer and I had to re-download this game, yeah, they took it. Uh, since... When two nations... Form I'd like to see that. Since, like, when two nations, like, form... Okay, like, since... Let me try to, you know, words. Okay, spit out some words. Like, before I had, like, all these different settings and everything, and, like, this thing filled out, but now that I... Wow, hope I put But now that I, you know, have a new computer and I had to redownload this game, basically, like, all my settings and everything got changed. So, like, you know, probably as this campaign goes through, I'll just, you know, reset my settings and all that. Yeah. Like, it's basically just the beginning is basically what I'm waiting. Do you have any allies? <sighs> yeah, like, the mines. Where the heck is mines, Ed? Oh, that's 10 troops right there. Oh, uh, well, since I'm not going to be able to do anything for a while, I want to get this up to 20 and then just start building up a spy network and where's. Oh, I can't even take that. Like, I won't even be able to take that capital. Just. Oh, I don't even have my merchants. Oh my gosh. I'm such a noob. Collect from trade and. I want to push from trade here. Yeah, let's push from trade. There. Uh. Oops. Those claims. And start building supply network here. Even though I really want to take mines, but yeah, there's no way. Mine is way too powerful. Create an army for our nation. Actually, I think I can do that. Maybe not. Well, uh, let's take it. I don't remember if like lane maintenance modifier counts for mercenaries or if it's just like a professional army. Either way, <laughs> I need money. Actually, I might have to spend a lot of time just developing. Ugh. Then it's gonna be a boring campaign at first, but you know, stick with it because. I'm sure it'll get interesting, or it might never go anywhere. Who knows? But, you know, I'm so glad I can just run Speed 5, though. Like, I'm just so glad, because you don't know how freaking long these games lasted whenever I only, like, at my previous computer, and I could only go to, like, Speed 2 or 3. Blech. And then, you know, like, whenever you discover the whole world, it's just, like, the time to start going backwards. Um, no, screw you, Nassau. Alright. Almost. Oh, I didn't realize. 
This army is going to get so expensive if I ever, like, whenever I battle. Yeah, I have to have a huge treasury whenever I want to go to war. Uh, mines. Ooh, are you at War Warsbury? You're moving around. Nope, you just have allies. Um. Actually, is there anybody powerful? Oh, excuse me, I got the burps. Anybody powerful near me? That I could possibly ally? Brandenburg wouldn't be a bad choice. Um. About it for a powerful ally. I mean, I guess I could try to get Bohemia. Since I am like uh, a monarchy, I can get marriages and all that. But. That's gonna be so hard. France, you wanna ally? <laughs> you wanna marry a marriage, France? Ooh, he's actually really close. Um, Well, I mean, what can I do with France, though? I think I'd probably have better luck getting in Austria's. Pants. Maybe not. I probably misplayed this from the very beginning just because I didn't take Austria. Well, I didn't uh, marry Austria. Just because I played the Teutonic Order before and, you know, you're not really allowed to marry as a border. Yeah, we're going to try to get into France's pants. Oh, bring it on. I have Cleves on my side. Yeah. Well, oh, France, you want to marry it? Nah, oh, come on, man. My diplomat is basically. Hmm. What's the word? <laughs> my diplomat's basically being very friendly to you. I was about to use a, a obscure word. Well, not obscure word, but you know, obscure reference. But you know, this is a PG stream. As I, you know, rape, pillage, and plunder the lands around me, or at least plan to. Nice. So, are you at war? Nope. England just gave it up. It's always a good idea just to give this up as England. You never want to just. You just never want to go to war with France. I mean, like, never ever. Early game, France is OP. Middle game, France is. I think, like, the weakest France ever is, is, like, mid-game. But, like, end-game, well, like, late-game, I guess. France is overpowered. Early-game, France is overpowered. It's, like, mid-game, whenever, like, colonization, colonization is, like, in full swing, that France is kind of weak. Just because, like, he'll, he's, like, sending his armies over. Seas. Kind of. It's the AI, so you don't really ever know what they're gonna do. Ugh, this, uh, what do you have to have allies? Clone and tree air. Ah, oh, they're just bordering him. I want Wurzburg. I also want Frankfurt. Are you validating by Brunswick? Ah, or Saxony. Do you want to ally Saxony? Consort marriage town. What? We do we have the same consort? What? What? What's that from? Von Hessian. Von Wetten? Von Wetten? Von- oh, okay, duh. Because, you know, I have a consort that's of his dynasty. Blech. Our king is garbage. Well, I mean, his perks are good, but his- everything- anything, like, his monarch points are actually garbage. So, Austria, how about that mare? France, how about that alliance? Yeah, there's no way. Oh, yeah, I say naval strength. Oh, yeah, let me just build a little tugboat on this river here. Ugh. That's gonna be a crappy start. Oh, what am I doing with my diplomat? Please, no. I should probably work on... Let's get an alliance. Well, not, yeah, let's get an alliance with Brandenburg and a marriage. Just because Brandenburg is powerful with those ideas. Well, those Prussian ideas. <laughs> oh, I can I can buy another mercenary. Yay! Although I don't know. Oh, I guess the reason I am buying mercenaries is just to, for the army strength. 
Alright. No alliance with you. No alliance with you. I doubt I can get an alliance with you. Basically, everybody around me is just too powerful. Well, the same with the fact that they're too powerful. It's just they, their allies are too good. Um, yeah, too many allies. I mean, I think if I could write you a song to make you fall in love. No. <laughs> no it's actually corny as heck. You know, if I could get just some powerful alliances around me, be pretty good. Basically just marry and ally like every strong person in my vicinity or anybody with the potential to be strong. Especially France and Austria, although I don't I doubt I'll be able to ally Austria anytime soon. Just because they have like so many <laughs> alliances. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not exactly high on his list of people to ally. Since I'm not an elector or I'm not powerful. But just you wait, Austria. One day, one day, I'll have the mercs. How many mercs can I even buy? Oh, I, I can buy 18. Well, I can buy 18. Will I buy 18 is a whole different story. I forget. How, how many mercenaries do I need for this achievement? Test and mercenary. 50 regiments. And no loans. Oh, man. Well, I'm good on the whole no loans part for now. But yeah, I think most of this campaign is just going to be me. Like, I think I'll have to build tall just because, like, it's, the cost of reinforcing mercenaries is insanely high. Although, like, I do want to expand, you know, more than two provinces. Oh, that just unplugged my headphones like an idiot. Alright, we're good. But yeah, most of this game, early game is just going to be me waiting. Waiting on the world to change. Oh, the Renaissance. Where did it spawn? Come on. Oh yeah, I need a technology tab. Uh... Where are you, technology? I'm assuming economy, yep. Technology, actually, well, whatever, it doesn't matter. And institutions. So, where'd you spawn? You spawn. You spawned in Laka. It's not bad. Not bad. A bit annoying. Well, actually, it's probably like as good as it gets, really. Sweet. But yeah, I basically have to build up. I was gonna say build up flavor. So no, build up favors with everybody, so that way I can actually go and do something. Create an army for our nation. Yeah, I'm working on it. I'm about halfway there. Uh, <laughs> yeah, my army's already so expensive. <laughs> Diplomatic insult. No, no, no. Let's just improve relations with everybody. It's always a good solution. You know, make love, not war. Uh, did you get a call from somebody? Huh. Anyways, huh. <laughs> yeah. Basically, you know, I'm just excited to have a new computer and you know see where this takes me, because I have been wanting to do this for a long time. Ever since like, I was, I was not like ever since I was little, but ever since I was like you know, kind of like twelve or. Not really 12. I don't remember when I first started like watching Let's Plays. I do remember my first Let's Play was Infamous 2. And I don't know why I ever looked it up, but I was at my grandparents. And I looked, and I just was like, hmm, you know what sounds cool? Infamous. Because, like, Infamous 2 had just come out. And I was like, huh. You know, I kind of want to see gameplay about this. And then I just, like, saw a channel, and, like, they, you know, they were, like, pretty funny. I was like, you know, I, I can really dig this, and then ever since then, I just started watching Let's Plays. <laughs> and now here I am actually making my own, hopefully. Because I know, like, before, 
like channel like I just kind of like start these things and like never actually do anything with them just because it's just like I can't handle like how slow my computer ran these games and it's just like I felt bad for like anybody watching them because like they're just like oh yeah you know let's watch some EU4 and this thing is going at a snail's pace but now 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 you see now I can actually do it maybe well so far we're doing pretty pretty well because <laughs> Okay, so before my other computer, even when I wasn't like recording or streaming or anything, because you know I still can do it. Like I like you know if you like hover over this, like if your computer isn't fast enough or you know good enough to run this game, it will tell you right right here if you hover over this, like your computer is not fast enough for, to like run at this speed. And it's just like the most like humiliating humiliating thing ever to read. It's just like yeah yeah you know I know this computer isn't very good. You don't have to rub it in my face, paradox. But yeah. Let's see, let's check out how many, not problems of interest, oh, I guess I can't really check in the screen. Oh no, I never allied Bohemia, eh, that was my, yeah, that was definitely a screw up on my part, not allying Bohemia, because I haven't been accumulating favors with them. Because I do want to... I don't even know who I want to... I do want to attack Masao. <laughs> but... And they have too many allies. Their allies are just too strong. Wurtenberg... Isn't Wurtenberg... Here. They're just one problem spider, but they probably have five. Ah, good. No, oh, that's annoying. Mm hmm Uh, well, at least I can still go to war. But yeah, you know, on that drastic note, I am gonna end the episode here. Sorry, nothing really happened this episode, but I think it was an alright start, even though I kind of misplayed by not taking alliances as soon as I should have. But I definitely look forward to this campaign. I want to see if I can actually, you know, do only mercenaries. <laughs> It's, it's going to be rough, but it's, I think it's going to be pretty fun. Yeah, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more.